Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. I'm Lori Tana. I'm the one they flooded the house. Yes, ma'am. I'm Janice. I'm the one that you spoke to earlier. Okay, no, you haven't called me back yet. I just got off the phone with Sedgwick. Um, so Sedgwick, uh, he had to transfer me to the adjuster, and then the adjuster had to go to the supervisor. So the supervisor is now trying to get a hold of the MBO to set up another pickup date. So I cannot do anything with the unit until Sedgwick actually looks at it. So Sedgwick is the one that set up the delivery date to be picked up for today. And then whatever happened with the delivery, he's looking into that because it didn't get picked up. They're, they're destroying my house right now you understand that between the walls and the water going through mm -hmm. and i can't move it i can't get anything done correct and so just, that's why he nobody's was to... handling anything that's been two weeks so so we are we're in the process so they're now with there being a sedgwick claim i cannot go outside of that process there's nothing that i can do even me being a manager my store manager no way but Once i talked is... to them this morning who did you talk Sedwick. to? Okay. I talked to, I've been talking to them. Okay. To Brittany. She said they weren't holding up this delivery at all. It, it's not Sedgwick that's holding up the delivery. Who is? It was the MDO. So the MDO is who delivers all of our appliances. They're the ones that have to pick it up. So because there, I guess, was an issue with Sedgwick coming out to your house and looking at it, they have to, they have to have an LG um, service tech certified come out and look at the unit. And I said, no, I'm not letting them in to get it Correct. out. Correct. So that, that's where the issue kind of started. So they have to figure out how to get the unit. It can't come here because the LG techs won't come here to, to service it. That has to go back to the MDO or they have to service it at your house. So it's those two options. Nobody's coming in my house and this washer's getting out. Okay, correct. Okay, so, so I'm not dealing with anybody there. Okay. This is not my issue. This okay. is y'all, please, needing to get the washer okay, out of so my like house. so like I said, with the That's process, all. I cannot get it out. I can't do anything. Then Sedgwick drop the process and... I cannot. I've already Somebody's got to get me. this out. Okay, correct. House. And what I'm telling you is that we will. Sedgwick is already aware. His supervisor is aware of the situation. His supervisor is reaching out to the MDO. So that way they can get somebody to go out there to go pick it up. I am I not can't do anything. functional. Okay, okay I can't do anything outside field. of that realm. I can't, I can't use anything. I can't wash anything. Okay. I can't handle anything. I've been tied up. I've taken off work. Right. Okay, this so can't okay, keep happening. Okay. Why? I don't understand. I called okay. within 20 yeah, minutes okay, gotcha. okay, to so get that washer out of there within 20 minutes of that delivery. And they brought the guy back, he videotapes, and he leaves. Okay. I'm not sure what happened with that process. I mean, I know what happened. My worker, so. You, I mean, you guys send an issue, a, a, an injured who's bleeding from an earlier job coming out to my house, bleeding all over the house. Okay. <laughs> and it's sitting there delivered, and y'all send him back out, and he just videotapes it as my house is all flooding and just leaves it. I'm like, you can't leave me like this. Okay. You can't leave with the house flooding. Oh, not my problem. Out the door. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not sure who that worker is. We are not tied with them. They're just, they're the delivery company that deals with all the appliances. So, I, I'm, I'm sorry that that happened, but I, but it's I have no Depot's control over those responsibility Correct. But we're to get this entities. washer out of my house. Correct. And we're doing everything that we can, but without them being able to come out, that's the process. They have to look at the unit. They have to get an LG service tech to go out there. He has to be service certified. Nobody's coming in my house. Okay, and that's, Just get the washer out of my house. You're saying. So again, what I'm telling you, the process, since they cannot go into your house, they have to get the MDO now to go pick it up. Whatever happened with the delivery today, the, the supervisor from Sedgwick is getting in contact with them because I have no control over the situation anymore because it's in Sedgwick's hands. So they're going to right now make me go file a police report. And if that's against, what you're going to do. I'm going to have to. Okay, so I'm then we're going to be done with this conversation. And you not go with ahead you. And go I've got to file No, ma'am, if them. you're filing it, that's, that's, it's my company. So when It's not your company. It's correct, the guy it's who Depot, left it. But he works for Home Depot. So if there's any so, legal allegations wait, being wait, made. Wait, wait, hold on. You just told me they're a third-party contract. It's still and Home Depot. We're just two separate entities. I work inside the store. He works at a warehouse. That has to do with the, the appliances. But you a minute ago said no, you have I, nothing to do with it. I have no, no, I have nothing to do with him personally. I'm not over him. I'm not in control of that side of the business. We're still. All but Home yet Depot. you can't do anything. No, ma'am. I go file a police report on him. You're trying to tell me two personally. separate things. You're trying to tell okay. me two separate things. Okay, so. 
if you're going to file a police report, it would be not on that associate. He works for Home Depot, so then it would hit. It would it would be a Home Depot thing because he was on the clock. He works. So for what us. do you advise me to do after two weeks of this in my house? We are trying to get Cedric is trying to deal with it. But why wasn't it handled this morning? They can't. Like I said, they canceled that delivery. Then the did for whatever happened in that conversation with you guys. I'm not sure if the time frame didn't work out, but it did show that it was canceled. I already had all this set up. The correct. deal was I already had all and this set up two weeks you know ago. The time frame, correct? Yeah, they did, and I couldn't do it. I already had it set two weeks ago. They come in the morning to get this out of here. Okay, so did they ever tell you that they were coming in the morning? No. Or that's what you just requested? Yeah, I requested Okay, so they don't do time frames. So like I told you on the phone, um, the MBO does not do time frames for deliveries, not even for when we drop off a phone. I have been home at night, the day that they didn't come out and get it, mm -hmm. and now today, and they should, and, and the supervisor on the phone told me, okay, it will be picked up in the morning. She told me that. I'm not sure who that is. I'm not sure who you spoke to, if it was part of Cedric or the MDO. But they had in there that it was a four hour time frame. They didn't put what time that time frame was. They just put that there was a four hour time frame and then it got canceled. I'm gonna try to get this thing set outside my house then. Okay, and I don't know what that's gonna do with Sedgwick and that claim. So I'm just letting you know that now. Because they're gonna have you somebody come pick what it up. Am I, I, my house is being destroyed. We are on video. My house okay. is being destroyed right and that's now. Completely fine. And I want to know why. I want to know why nobody's come and got this in two weeks. But we have, like I said, they have tried to come out and do a service call when they would have went out, when Cedric would have went out to do that service call and had their LG. Um, no, that that, that wasn't the deal. There was no deal like that. It was set up with Anthony to come out on the first. I was here five hours. And it, and it was scheduled, but that was not just with Anthony. That was with Cedric. That no, it was, wasn't. No. Yes, ma'am. When you when we look in the notes, that was all with. That was never with them. Yes, ma'am. He got in touch with Sedgwick, and then he yeah, called you. Right. And the know. delivery, uh, the pickup of the washer, Correct, was never with Sedgwick. Yes, ma'am. I looked through the whole through the whole notes, and I talked to Anthony then, myself. Then, we need to have a three-way with Anthony. No, ma'am, he's not here today. So because that wasn't the deal. I mean, I told them outright, I'm not, I'm not going through this again. I'm not having anybody else come out. I just okay. want it out. Okay, correct. And like I said, we can have. But I called within 20 minutes and told them to come get it out of here. Okay. And I'm not sure. Like I said, I was not a part of that process when you called. Then drop the claim, and I'll handle. And once stuff. it's already done, it's done. I can't go back and drop a claim. Cedric's already involved. The supervisor knows, so it will. It's already higher up, so I can't do anything with it. It's they can't of my leave hands. me with this. They can't and, and they're leave not trying me to leave in a non-functional. We just need. House. They just need you to. We just need to get on the same page and cooperate with each other, so that way they can get somebody to I've go pick it up. I've been cooperating two weeks. Okay, and they need somebody to go pick it up and then take it back to the MDO to where they can have them service it there, since they can't come service at you, service it at your house. So why did they not pick it up? I don't understand. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure. Once again, I'm not sure what happened You're between that conversation. I've taken off work again. I'm, exactly. I'm saying the same Let thing me over and over. I've again. taken this off work already okay. twice. And they should have handled me. They should not have been telling me last night that they would be picking it up this morning. The supervisor. Okay. okay? I go and Which I, I go. Whoever is with, whoever called to schedule this to schedule the time talk to me again and said oh they'll be calling you back tonight okay. yeah they'll get there in the morning that's when i made calls last night and said hey they never reached back out to me mm -hmm. ever and so then they looked it up and they said oh no the whole thing's been stopped by the insurance company i said no they can't do that then i called insurance company this morning mm -hmm. i think after i talked to you and they're like, no, we didn't do that. We didn't stop that. That's exactly what they told me. Correct. The Sedgwick did not stop it. It was whoever, whatever happened with the NBO, what they called. I'm not sure what but happened. But I'm like saying I said. they've lied again. That makes three times. Okay. And I, I can't control what they tell One. you or what they're telling you. I don't know but who it's you're Home speaking Depot. to. But it's Home Depot. Okay, correct. When I but call, I don't know who you're speaking to again. I'm not sure who you're in conversation with when you're calling them. Well, it's got to be in records. And I know exactly what the delivery guy for that delivery guy to put in your notes that he, I he said to. He doesn't put in notes. It's whoever you were talking to over the phone. That is not true. Anthony told, read it back to us when we were here. It's it's going to be the warehouse that does. It's not him personally that puts the notes. In. It's the warehouse. So when he goes back, he tells. He but that goes he on. came out and got the video and reported back to the supervisor because okay. we were there. He said this makes three 
of that same model that just flooded three other people, okay? okay. Go ask him. I'm not lying about it. Okay. And for him to put in the notes that I told him I would keep the washer, are you kidding me? It's in your notes. Okay, I mean, like I said, I have not, I was not a part of this from the beginning. So whatever he said and whatever he put in his notes, I can't control that. I'm trying to help you on getting it out of your house so that way they can go and look at it so that way they can start that whole process. But that so has, that's the first part of the process. It should have been out already. It's been two weeks. Okay, I completely Almost understand what, you, what you're saying, but sometimes the pickups don't happen that quick. Sometimes pickups are pushed out just due to them already having pickups or having deliveries. It just depends on their schedule. They can't, they can't do that. It was already confirmed with Correct. Anthony. Correct, and like I said, I'm not sure it has nothing to do with Anthony. He's the one that, he got with Cedric, they were able to set up for the MDO to go back and pick it up, because usually the MDO does not go back and pick it up, so he Who's has to MDO? make Who's MDO, what's that? That's the warehouse, that's who went and dropped off the appliance to begin with. It's the same people. They have to go back and pick it up, because they cannot go out and service it at your home. So but they didn't they pick it up back. when they came back out the first time. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why he didn't take it back with me. I can't speak on his behalf. So they just leave me and destroy the house intentionally. That's why I'm trying to tell you. I mean, you're trying to tell me if you were me, you wouldn't do anything about it. You I'm, I'm telling you, that's not what I'm saying, ma'am. You can do whatever you feel like is necessary. Well, you work here. What would you do? It's whatever. I can't give you advice. You would let your house you be feel. flooded and, and you go pay all this money to have. You haven't done anything and this okay. is and they're doing this. I'm not saying you have. I'm saying if I if you were me. You, it's all you did is come and pay them money and buy something and that's the only you, what are you guilty of that are you guilty because you came and and you bought a washer from you no nobody's saying that you are i completely understand and I, I mean unfortunately i'm sorry that that happened to you and that flooded your house and ruined your property but this makes three obviously you heard the guy okay i mean i'm not aware of it so that's not something that was ever told to me i'm not sure about that model that's not something that was ever what's got to be in the reported us. lines it's got to be I'm, I'm not sure i haven't like and i said and I, I know I it's recorded when i called in home depot mm -hmm. the first time and said hey you come get this within the 20 minutes and they said oh home depot didn't deliver it i had to leave my house flooding come up here to anthony and michael as that house was flooding and and they handled it at this point saying what do you mean they told us we didn't deliver it so i'm getting two separate things you're saying they represent you but in the other case, you're saying they don't. I mean, it can't be both. It can be. So we're one company. It's Home Depot. We have separate entities. We have separate. But you're people only that doing do it in your things. favor. Like no, ma'am. I'm trying to take care of you. And the only thing I do now that it's plain, like I said, is go through Sedgwick. So I've already partnered with Sedgwick. They've already sent it to their supervisor. It's the same gentleman that is on your case that has been. So he's trying to get his supervisor. I need him his, and his supervisor. information, please. I don't have it. Then how are you reaching? I just called her 1-800 number, the phone number that I have. What's his me. name? Um, I didn't write it down, unfortunately. It's the same Come guy. On. They, they didn't, I didn't call him personally. They transferred me to him, so it was a three-way call. But, but you just told me you were in you were. Yes, I was talking contact, to him. So, so I called Sedgwick. Sedgwick sent me to the um, adjuster. I don't have that adjuster's information. It was you you didn't call. write any him. adjuster stuff down with all of this? Not his name, no. How do I find this? Um, you'd have to call Sedgwick and then ask Sedgwick who the adjuster is. That's how I got them. I don't have his personal information. I only have Sedgwick. Sedgwick had a partner with me because Sedgwick didn't know they needed to. I asked him for a time frame on when we could get you taken care of, and he didn't know. He said he had to go through the adjuster that was handling the case. So I went to the this to people. Y'all just can't. Okay. This, this is. I've never. I, why? Why? I, I don't understand why this is happening. Why? Y'all are being so incompetent on. In well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I mean, you like know I said, it's true. It's, it's not. not. I've been feel trying that my way. best to take care of you since I found out about this this morning. I haven't had anything to do with this issue prior to that. I'm, so I've done everything that I can to help. But you listen tell you what to we need me. To do. For your people to okay. deliver that off and watch it flood and take a video. Okay. And leave. You're telling me that's not incompetent. I mean, that's how. I mean, I, I get where you're coming from, but I don't know that process. I don't know what, why he left it. I'm not sure. And, and for y'all to send out somebody, you know, bleeding. That's not me personally. Out. That's that's so whatever see, happened on their end. So it's not Home Depot, but it is. No, I'm Depot. saying no, ma'am. That's not what I said. I said that's not me personally. He doesn't work for this store, so I don't know who he is. I'm not over him. I'm not his boss. I am. We have nothing in nothing to do with each other. I so get a hold when of the am MDO I going to know? Services. Because you said you were going to call me back earlier. When, okay, and I actually I... just got off the phone with him about 45 okay. minutes ago. When am I going to know when 
my house can be functional again. When can this get out? Um, I'll have to call him back. He didn't have a time frame. He was getting with his supervisor, and they were his supervisor was already in touch with the MDO time soon, and they can schedule another pickup. Just but he didn't have anything for me at the time. Don't make me come up here every day and do this. Okay, and I, that's completely fine. I mean, we will contact you, but I, I'm letting you know that I'm getting the information from a third party, so I gotta wait till they have that information. It's not something that I'm setting up myself. Okay, you guys, you heard.